Hey guys, I'm Dustin of JP Tech, and today we're going to talk to you about comp installation. So you picked out the perfect comp for your new build. Hopefully it's a JP, but now you're curious on how you're going to time and install it. Well, today we're going to talk to you about the most popular methods, the pros and cons, and we're going to show you how to do it. So first up is the jam nut. We're going to be using a JP jam nut, the pill washer. Then we're going to move into the crush washers using the JP double crush washer. And of course, we're going to end with my favorite, which is the JP time and blended comp. Before installing your muzzle device, be sure to thoroughly read through your instructions that came with your muzzle device. Every manufacturer has different recommendations, different torque specs, and it's critical that you understand what you're doing before you start your next build. So let's get started. So first off, we're going to start with securing our upper receiver into the vise using some vise draws. I recommend using the JP um, vise draws. As you'll notice in the setup here, we don't have a barrel nut on here. That's because today everything is going to be done in a soft build for the educational purpose. And we're going to be using our tools. Um, we have a crescent. We did put tape on here. This helps to ensure that we don't scratch any surfaces. We're going to use our jam, our jam nut our JP comp, our level, and our JP comp wrench. Um, if you don't have a comp wrench, you can always use a wooden dowel or even um, a Delrin doll. All right, so we're gonna take our JP jam nut. And before we put this on, we would actually run, for a more permanent solution, a small bead of blue Loctite across the threads. Then we would install our jam nut until it stops because it's rested against the barrel. Then we're going to take our JP comp and we are going to screw it on until it comes to a stop because it's made it against the jam nut. Now, typically, I would use a level across this and try to find the center point. But for this reasoning, for this uh, video here, I'm gonna pull it out and I'm going to eyeball it. Now, I can see, of course, that our flats that we use here at JP do not match up with the gas, uh, gas porthole. Now, if you don't have a JP comp and you're not sure, you know, maybe you don't even have flats on there, I would say find the, the top of the comp as you're screwing it on, you're gonna to wanna to use a reference point, whether that's using the gas port, uh, a gas block, or if you have it even mounted into the upper receiver, you're gonna use the top of the receiver. Um, another thing you can do is you can actually put a mark, once you get to this point, put a mark with a black marker, or if you're running a black Teflon barrel like this one, you could even use uh, white out and put a line there to give you a reference point. But for this one, I can tell that I am not timed. So I'm actually going to put this back in the receiver here and I'm gonna use a level like we normally would on our JP comps because we do have a flat here. Uh, now I would put this on here, but of course it's gonna fall off. So we're gonna back the comp off a little bit. We're going to put the level on here, get it close to being level. We're gonna use our uh, JP comp wrench. Uh, once again, you can use a dowel for this. And we're gonna go ahead and install that. And then we are going to take our crescent wrench with tape, put it on there. And now we are going to back off the jam nut from the barrel, which is going to start to tighten it into the comp. And as we are applying pressure to the comp and screwing it into the jam nut until we get them tight. And then we're going to work with getting it level. Break that loose. And we do have a little bit of wiggle in this receiver because it's not tight and this is our test receiver, um, like a demo receiver we use here uh, when doing barrel kits. But as you can tell, I don't know if you can see this in the video, so we'll pull it out. But what we're looking for when we are timing this comp is for the level to be centered on the flats. 
Now that lets us know that the comp has been timed and that's because we know our vice player is uh, level. So now if you don't have the level, you're gonna go ahead and pull it out and you're going to look using reference points. I'm gonna use the JP logo on the barrel and come up to make sure we are timed here. And what I'm looking for is for it to be right down the middle. Now that is how we are going to install the JP jam nut with our JP comp to our barrel. Now the pill washer isn't something that we use that often here at JP. But that doesn't mean they are not a great tool for you to use when you are timing your muzzle device. Now these are readily available. They come from multi, multiple manufacturers. And um, the one thing that's cool about them is when we install them onto our barrel and we are putting on our muzzle device, it does help keep the muzzle device centered unlike most of your crush washers. So let's get started and we'll show you how this works. Let's make sure that we have our upper secured into a vise. Of course, we're using our JP vise blocks. On this build, because we will be applying torque to the muzzle to the muzzle device, I have secured our barrel to the upper receiver using our barrel nut and inner nut. Now, to get started with this, we're gonna need a couple of tools. We're gonna use our comp wrench, a razor blade or X-Acto knife so we can peel the pill washer apart. We're gonna use a level, and of course, we're gonna use our JP three port comp. All right, let's begin by grabbing our pill washer. We're gonna apply it to the end of the muzzle, take our comp, and we will tighten it on there and see where the alignment of our comp is. All right, so right here, uh, we're about 180 degrees from where we need to be. So we're gonna back this off and we're gonna start removing some of these layers of the pill washer until we get it closer to where it needs to be and then we will actually tighten it on using our comp wrench. All right, so we've removed three layers of our pill washer. So we're gonna screw this on and see where our alignment ends up being. All right, so as you can tell, we've moved roughly 90 degrees. So we're going to uh, pull this off and remove a couple more layers of the pill washer. Um, and then we will apply it back on. As you can tell, this is a little bit longer of a process than if we were gonna be using a jam nut or a crush washer. Um, so that's something to take into account when you are doing your build. All right, so we've removed two more layers of the pill washer. So we'll go ahead and screw this on. Let's see where we're at. All right, so hand tight. Um, I know from doing a couple of these builds, this is exactly where I need to be for this comp. Um, now, Remember on our JP comps, we do have the flat here, so I can use this level. If you're not running the JP comp and you don't have any flats, you're gonna wanna use the top of your uh, receiver, possibly a gas block to get it lined up um, right where it needs to be. That's something you need to look into your uh, instructions for. All right, so let's go ahead and tighten this thing up. So we're gonna get it close to level there and we'll put our level on it. So we can keep an eye on it as that flies off. And there we are level now. So our muzzle device is perfectly timed to this barrel and we would be ready to finish the assembly and get it out. All right, for the third option when installing a muzzle device, we're gonna talk about crush washers. Now here is your standard crush washer. Now, when I first started working here at JP, we use these all, all the time. Um, I wasn't a big fan of them. They were very hard to get them centered. And of course, whenever we would tighten the muzzle device down and we needed to take it off for some reason, we had to cut this 
uh, crush washer off because the uh, inside diameter of the crush washer would actually be smaller than the outside diameter of the threads. But our engineers here at JP came out with the new JP double crush washer. Um, this thing is awesome. Um, what I like about it is when I'm actually installing a muzzle device, it auto centers itself. It provides a smooth and consistent crush, so there is no struggle. We offer them in black and stainless. And uh, the other cool thing about just crush washers in general is that this is just something that comes in most of your muzzle devices when you purchase them. Um, so before, before we get to installing these onto our build here, let's show you the tools that we're gonna be using. So one of the tools that we use here um, is gonna be the Magpul um, barrel nut tool, it, it, but we also have the flats on here so we can use that with uh, our comp. Now if you don't have this tool or you don't have a tool at home similar to this, you can always use a crescent. Um, Make sure you put some tape on the bottom here to make sure you don't scratch or mar up the polish of your comp. So we have a crescent, we have our comp, and we have our crush washers, and of course we have our level. Now on our level, because of the flats on this comp, we've actually filed down the sides here to give us more of a triangular fit, so we'll fit just right on our comp so we can make sure it's level. Let's make sure our upper receiver is secure in a vise, using some vise blocks. Like I said, once again, we do use the JP vise blocks here. So we're gonna grab our JP double crush washer. Get that started on there, grab our comp. Now we're going to screw our comp on until we feel a little bit of pressure or it stops, which is where we're at. Now we're gonna put our tool on here and as we start to turn it, we're gonna feel the crush washer start to give a little bit, and that's gonna be right at the spot that we know now we need to try to get one revolution out of it or until it gets to the perfect timing position. Now, the JP double crush washer does allow for a turn and a half more revolution than your standard crush washer. Now we're gonna to start to take this over. Now here's the top of our comp. Now we know we're, gonna, we're getting a little closer there so we're gonna to start to very slowly take it over, which our crush washer does allow for that slow, precise timing. So let's grab our level and we'll see where we're at. So we need to go a little bit more and this is cool about our crush washer, because there's not a whole lot of fight in this. There's no jumping that you would normally have with your normal crush washer. All right, we gotta go just a hair more. And we're level. All right, so one thing we do here at JP before we send out our rifles to our customers, we want this device to be more permanent. So if that's the same thing you're wanting, before you even start this process, be sure to put a thin line of blue Loctite onto the threads. You're gonna apply the double crush washer and then you'll put on the comp and then you're gonna time it. Now, if you're wanting to learn more about the JP double crush washer, down below there will be a link in the description and they get you all the information you need. All right guys, so let's talk about my favorite way of doing this. Uh, we are gonna do the JP Signature Blend, which is where we take this comp, this barrel, we are going to time them just perfectly on the lathe, and then we are going to blend them together. And when we are done, it will look like it is a one piece barrel that the comp is actually cut into it. Now, if you've seen our rifles on the range, you might have actually thought that we had made this into a one piece. So let's uh, get over to the shop and we're gonna show you how we do this. First thing I'm gonna do here, I'm gonna place the barrel in the lathe, tighten it up. Now I'm going to grab my comp, screw it onto the barrel, 
and look and see how much metal actually needs to be removed from the barrel so that my comp will be perfectly timed. Once I have this measurement, we're gonna back the comp off and begin our cut. Okay, so we're gonna begin our cut here. Now the idea behind this is to remove metal so our comp can rotate all the way around to the point where it needs to be timed. Now this idea is very similar to how we did the pill washer. Okay, so at this point I'm gonna stop my cut just a couple thousandths before I get to top dead center. This is done for two reasons. One, I wanna make sure I don't overtime this comp. If that happens, I have to go a full re revolution around to make sure it's timed. Two, this leaves me enough room so I can torque this comp on for a nice tight fit. Now that I got the comp timed, I'm gonna take this over and get the polishing started. This is gonna give us that nice signature blend that JP is so famous for. Now during this polishing process, I'm gonna treat this just like you would if you were polishing something at home. We're gonna start with a coarse grit. Next, we're gonna use a medium grit. And to finish this blend off, we're gonna use a fine grit. Now this is gonna give us that nice signature polished look. All right, so that was the process of timing and polishing a comp to the barrel. Uh, we actually did that on one of our barrel kits uh, for a customer. So the barrel kit comes with the gas block, thermal dissipator, and a head-spaced bolt. Um, now, if you look on here, we do have the nice signature blend. We cannot tell where the comp and the barrel um, were separate. Now. This is a process that requires some special tooling and some education behind it. If you feel comfortable and you have these tools at home, by all means, go ahead and do that. If you are not comfortable doing this or you don't have the tools and you have one of our comps and you like to get that done, we do have a partner that we work with. If you go to their website down below, it's E. Arthur Brown, they will get you taken care of. Uh, we hope this video has been very educational and you've learned something out of that. Um, if you have any questions, please let us know. And once again, my name is Dustin, and we'll see you on the range.